So Unreal Engine 5.4 Chaos Cloth Workflow is now a USD workflow. But what if you don't have a USD option? How do you get it done? So stick with me and I'm gonna show you how to get it done. It's your boy A to the K to the K, Alexander Ken Kwame. Welcome to Hoodie Studios. Let's just jump into it. So I'm using style 3D here and we don't have the option for USD. So I'll select everything and I'll make my UVs and in style 3D is pretty simple. You just with just one click, you just make your UV. So I will click on layout and it will just just like that. You just have your UVs, very simple. Okay. So what I want to do here is I want to create a render sim a render folder and I'll create a simulation folder. Okay. So I will create this folder and I'll name it render and I will create the other folder and I'll name it sim which is for simulation. Okay. So now at this point we have to export our simulation but we have to make sure our particle distance is around 10 for this suit okay and for 10 i think 10 is okay for our render mesh and i'll select everything and you can see the random the particle distance is around 10 and i'll select i'll go export and I'll export as FBX. So you see, we don't have a USD option. I'll export as FBX. And this is going to be the render mesh. Remember? So now here, I will deselect all avatar and all props. And I'll make sure I have it at thick. And unified UV coordinate, big texture, big normal, big roughness. And make sure you have your skill at millimeter default. Okay. So I'll just click OK. So now for the simulation mesh, we have to go over our entire patterns and delete every internal line. So that's what I'm doing here. I already speed it up. So you go over everything and you select and make sure your particle distance. For this one, I'm going to place it at 20. Okay. So that is my particle distance and I'm not simulating everything. It's just the same render mesh that i have so this is the simulation mesh so i will go to fbx i'll select and i'll go to the sim folder and i'll name this sim all right and i'll click ok so the only thing that's gonna change is we we have to make it a thin we have to place it a thin not thick all right so that is the only thing that will change here everything else the scale is gonna be millimeter default, big texture, big normal, big roughness. And we will just jump into Unreal Engine. Now in Unreal Engine, you have to go to plugins and search for chaos and make sure you have the chaos plugins enabled. All right. And you click on the content browser, you go to physics and you go to cloth asset. Now here, all you have to do is just double click. They really made this very easy because in previous um, versions, we have to create everything from scratch, but this time they made it easy, but this is for the USD workflow. So we have to change it a little bit because if you have USD fine, you just pump it in and yeah, we are good to go. But if you don't have the option for USD, we just have to do this. So. We'll just search for merge cloth collection and in merge cloth collection, I will add pin for another collection and I'll search for static, uh, my static cloth, my static mesh import. Yeah, I was uh, sorry. I'll search for my static mesh import. I'll copy and I'll paste it. At first, it wasn't possible to copy and paste in the five point three but in 5.4 we can control c and control v and copy and paste it okay so we have to bring this one here and i bring these two here so one is going to be the render mesh and one is going to be the simulation mesh this one is going to be the simulation mesh so i'll deselect the render option 
and this one is going to be the render mesh so i'll deselect the simulation option okay pretty simple right so i will want to connect both of them but you see we have a node here which is the transform node but i don't actually need it so i'll just um take it off and i'll just connect these two here all right so now we have to drop in our render mesh okay now i'll drop this thing now since i'm coming from style 3d there are some things i have to do at the advance i have to go to combine meshes and i'll select combine meshes and at the rotation i will have to make the x negative 90 the z 180 now if you're coming from marvelous designer or claw you don't have to do this but style 3d i have to do this all right so we will have to palm these guys the simulation mesh and the render mesh into this guy and that guy okay so into this guy we need a simulation mesh all right so we have to bring our content browser and i'll go to the sim and i'll select the file and i'll just put it in here i'll go here and i'll select for the render file and i'll just click and i'll put it right in here so what we have to do is skip the transform node and connect it here you only need the transform node when some things are not aligning up and you have to use the transform node to make it align up that's the only part when you need a transform node but since we don't need anything like that we are all good to go okay so everything is working all right the render is looking great i like it so what we have to do is all we have to do is just paint on our cloth but before i will have to connect this node to that node now in def at default when you create the cloth asset you already have this all set up i just messed with it a little bit so don't worry about that so it's gonna load and take some time but just relax everything is gonna work all great okay so you can see that in our viewport there and it's looking pretty great it came out good okay so what i will want to do is we have to paint on this but since this is a suit i just want to stick to the black so i don't want much movement in the suit all right so at this moment we can just simulate it and um i'll just select um an animation for that and i'll just play the animation and see how this is gonna fit to it okay okay this is looking pretty great yeah as i said i don't want much movement in the um the suit character so i'll, I'll try a different animation okay and this is working pretty great so yeah it's very simple as the usd workflow it's just that the usd you just need one file just one usd and just pop it in and you go from there but if you want to use this workflow this is how you're going to use it all right yeah so it's your boy a to the k to the k alexander king Kwame. don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and comment peace out love y'all goodbye